Okay, this is Chris. We got the Jayco 29 FBS. I'll start in the rear here because we got them packed in pretty tight. I can't even quite get around. But you do have a pass through in the rear. So front to side, back to side, front to back, whatever you want to call it. Be able to move your stuff. Does have a manual awning. You do have front storage here. See if I can open this up or if it's frozen. It's frozen, I'm not gonna try. I got the battery box on here so I don't drain the battery out. Slide out, pretty huge. We've got them um, pretty tight in here, so I guess I don't wanna try climbing back there. Ooh, slippery ice. Um, it says sold, but like I said, this one actually just became available. You walk in here. So you walk in, you've got your couch, you've got your dinette, you've got your kitchen area, nice paper towel holder, tank monitors are front and center, slide out button, three burner stove, you do have an oven, microwave up top, fridge and freezer. Oh, we got them pin locked in here. There we go. Just so they don't collect the mold and whatnot. Um, kind of coming into the back, you do have a sliding door, pocket door essentially. The bottom bunk is actually a little bit taller than the top. Lights on the side, pretty decent sized bunks. And if you spin around, you've got a spot for a TV, coax connections, whatnot. So they can do this wrong handed. Drawers, opening this up, abundant amount of storage some hanging and then essentially this step up here is where the pass through storage is looks like this is a little access point to that as well so from a slide out standpoint you've got your booth it's got speakers on the roof here it does come with the TV antenna on the roof of course couch front entertainment system it's got a little um, you know tube TV Probably could use some updating, DVD player, decent sized storage. You do have drawers and cabinets below over here. And we'll walk you into the bathroom area essentially. So you do have a overhead skylight, bathtub. I'll put this in here. This has the divider for the bedroom. You'd slide this over and connect right into that little point. And then this little knob up here, essentially mates with that and um, if you had your curtain pulled you'd have a huge bathroom here you'd be able to go from one side essentially to the other turn my light on in here there we go a little dim because it's cold out medicine cabinet shelves for storage and then of course your your bathroom area sink if I'm spinning around, if you had this door opened up, you'd be able to, you know, have front to back. You walk from one straight into the other. That's kind of how that works. Um, oh, that's the wrong switch. Turn the fan on. Everything's cold and creaky in here. So this is um, where we were talking about where you'd have your plugs and your TV antenna hookup. This is your folding out ledge I would probably just mount the TV flat to the wall I know that you were looking at having power outlets on either side of the bed it's definitely there you do have your side hanging and then you know your top storage as well you do have ducted AC in here so the AC vents will get in and if I was gonna take a guess I'm guessing there's probably some underbed storage here as well so huge amount the front pass through and then straight into your underbed. So you could put a ton of things in there. Swing around and go this way. I was trying to get the exact weight off this model and I haven't found it yet. So I will have to go look for it. I will include that in the email. But overall as a unit, that's kind of what she looks like. Like I said, real good shape. I'm not seeing anything that would need addressing right off the bat.